Hello everyone, it's Steve here from Imperial Light and Magic and the UK R2 Builders Club. Uh, just want to show you a Padawan 360 system that I'm putting together. And also what I thought I'd do is take the opportunity to point out a couple of differences to my original Padawan 360 builds. I have made some changes to the way I power things especially. So let me take you through what we've got. We've got a speaker just squirreled over there for the moment um the yeah so we'll run from the from the speaker and sort of work our way backwards this is the amplifier um this is a 100 watt mono amplifier um available from the likes of aliexpress and banggood um it's powered by 12 volts which is uh, coming through here to the back um the input to this is going through this thing here this is an av link ground loop isolator i always recommend av link they are a very very good quality ground loop isolator and that gets rid of any hiss or buzzing that uh, electrical circuits sometimes pick up uh, the input to that comes from the output of the spark front mp3 trigger which is that thing just there um, so a couple of things to mention on the spark front mp3 i'm powering this over the, um, the the pin headers or the header pins i should say and in order to do that you need to have uh, the little switch down here in the usb position rather than the ext ext would uh, mean you're powering it from the barrel plug and you can do that um, have a look at the specs i think it's up to 12 oh in fact it says on the side there four and a half to 12 volts um, but i don't power it via that anymore and what i do for that power is the brown and the red leads and it's marked as uh, gnd and vcc uh, and those are actually getting their power from the Siren 10, which is this board here, for those who don't know what that looks like. So the Siren 10 has a 0 volts and a 5 volts, which you can possibly just about see there. And, uh, and that is what is powering the, um, the Sparkfront MP3. The orange lead goes over and into our Arduino. Now I'm using an Arduino Uno. I haven't put the, uh, the plastic shroud on the pins yet. But as you can, uh, if you sort of follow that one through, you will see that goes to pin number one. Uh, the pin on the end here is actually known as pin zero. So that's one, then two, three are empty, four and five, which go to the uh, speed controllers. And we've got a Siren 10 on the left and a, uh, a Sabertooth 2x32 on the right. The dip switch settings on both of these are identical. So as you can see, one and two are down and the rest are up in the up position. So um, just to show you that we have got uh, sounds and things. And you can see that the light is spinning around here at the moment. And it's just doing that because my battery is flat in my transmitter. But if I push the start button, um, I get an audio confirmation. And now once that uh, stops spinning around, you'll see uh, the top left hand segment is now lit, which means we are in speed one. If I click down, we get speed two. And if I click down again, we get speed three. If I push the start button, we come out of drive mode and the system therefore will be safe uh, from being accidentally knocked on the sticks. Um, so what I'm gonna try and do is uh, try and pause this video and then uh, turn the board over so you can see the electrical connections. Um, so I, te I tend to just sort of put holes through the board so this, start this side of it stays as neat as it possibly can. So let me see if I can pause the video and, uh, and we'll flip it over. Okay, so I've spun the board over and uh, just want to show you, it, it it's ca can be very, very neat, um, the, the electrics for one of these. Uh, this system obviously is fairly basic, it's about as basic as it comes. It does drive, it does the dome motor rotation and it does sound and uh, not an awful lot more than that. Um, so the power comes in through the red and black leads down here and I was powering it just off a, a little 12 volt lipo just sort of uh, to prove everything works. So your mains power comes into this, uh, flows up and then splits off. The black wire goes into this thing here. This is called a Wago connector, very, very handy uh, sort of replacement of the old, what we used to call a chop block or an electrical connector block with screw terminals. These are all sort of sprung clip terminals. So you basically lift it up, place your wire in, snap it back and it grips the wire really tightly. Um, the positive wire goes first of all through this switch. Now this is a 100 amp switch, which is more than enough. And you can probably see it's uh, this, this wire over here. So basically the power comes into here, doesn't go anywhere until you turn the switch. So the switch then goes down into our second positive side Wago connector. And out from here, we've got a connector going off here and obviously the black line, black wire as well. That's going into our um, saber tooth. Uh, these slightly thinner set of wires are going into the back of the Siren 10. 
We've also got a voltmeter coming out of positive and negative there as well. And finally, we also have a pair of wires going down to the amplifier. So yeah, um, I thought I would show you this. As I say, it's a, it's a bit different to how I used to do them. So I used to run uh, power out of these as well in order to power the um, Spark for MP3 and the Arduino, which is fine if you're running a 12 volt uh, mains battery system. If you build your systems this way, you can run your main batteries, anything up to 24 volts with no changes whatsoever. Um, so you don't have to uh, run any sort of um, buck converters or anything like that at all. This system will handle 12 to 24 volts. You don't need to change any dip switches or anything like that at all. Just chuck in whatever voltage you want. If you've got an 18 volt drill battery, for example, or a 20 volt drill battery, uh, absolutely no problem if you build it this way it will work absolutely fine. So there we go. Just wanted to give you a quick uh, review of how I'm putting these together these days. I am actually probably gonna remove part one of my Uno build video just to um, just to sort of clear up this thing about the, uh, what I used to do was uh, made up a Y, what I call a Y lead, and one half of it went into there, when one half of it went into the Arduino, and uh, and provided uh, 12 volts power into those. So I'm not a huge, huge fan of running more voltage than necessary, and I have found uh, through experience that the Sabertooth and the Siren give a very, very nice and steady and um, uh, plentiful amperage-wise uh, 5 volt output and it's nice and clean and I have had zero issues, zero brownouts, no problems whatsoever running a system this way. So that would be my recommendation. Anyway, I uh, hope everyone is staying safe and well. I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye for now.